Lisa Hoffman, the Home Buddy Realtor, and for May 2023's, you know, market update, I really want to talk about where we think the mortgage movement is going to be um, for the rest of this month and moving on for the rest of the year, and how mortgage rates have been impacting our inventory and our, essentially our sale price. Supply and demand is what determines the sale price, right? And we have a serious lack of supply in Bergen County, and we have a high demand. I do think that demand is going to get higher. I will address that in a minute. 2020 essentially was COVID, so all the rates dropped and everybody came to a buyer. The entire country became a seller's market because there were so many buyers out there. People who couldn't be buyers before because of the interest rates at 3%. Now all of a sudden those renters were buyers and everybody came out of the woodwork, right? Now we move into 2021. 2021, we still had a lot of sellers. We still had a lot of movement. Well, at least in 2022, even though it was difficult, we started seeing those bidding wars calm down a little bit, right? Houses were still ticking up, but you weren't seeing insane over the top, you know, set of $30,000 above asking. You were seeing maybe 10 or five above asking. Um, and the terms, and this is really important, the terms relaxed a lot, right? Now 2023 counts, and we're looking at 2023 numbers compared to 2022 new numbers compared to 2021 numbers. There's not enough houses. We have significantly less houses than we had before. So what did that cost? cause that caused us to go back into bidding wars now all of a sudden we're back where we were except by the way even though there are less buyers there's also a lot less houses so we're coming in over and we're offering crazy terms and our selection is significantly smaller now may was supposed to be the month may was supposed to be this magical month where rates were starting to come down and the hope is right and and this is the hope that even though when rates come down, all these people are gonna to continue to come out, we're gonna get more buyers. The hope is that with those additional buyers, some of those buyers will also be sellers. So we'll have a raise in buyers, we'll also have a raise in sellers, and hopefully it'll even out a little bit, right? The bad part is, you know, as rates come down, home prices are gonna to continue to go up. So if you just bought a home, that's awesome, right? Your house is going to continue to appreciate. That, that's good. Um, do I see a crash anytime soon? No. So today is May 3rd. I waited till May 3rd to do this video because I knew that rates were going to go up. However, and here's the good news, that is supposed to start changing. You know, slowly, very slowly, we're supposed to start seeing that tick down. Um, starting in the middle of this month. So hopefully it'll be a, you know, a little lower come the end of this month and we're supposed to start seeing the low sixes um, come the summertime. And I have read multiple articles that are predicting, you know, about five and a half um, for the end of the year. So if you're saying, hey, somebody bought a house and especially if they didn't refinance, that puts them at about five and a half percent that their mortgage was and they're gonna buy a house, and if they could buy a house at five and a half or five and a quarter, it's a lot easier to make that jump. And once we start seeing that new inventory, starts opening stuff up for us, um, even though there'll be more buyers and there'll be more competition, we'll have more options. Um, and if that ratio slightly improves, we're in a better position than we are now. So if you're thinking about selling, especially if you're a buyer or seller, Take this to heart, you know, give me a call. What can we do to get you ready? Where do you want to go? How do we make that move? And what does that look like for you?